I'm going to show you how to make smooth transitions in Premiere Pro. So let's get down to the tutorial. Okay, I'm going to show you some of the examples of the subtitles that we're going to be reviewing how to make today. Teammates, you trust them with your base coordinates? So like all these transitions, I'm going to be teaching you how to make with your items and even in battle. Okay, to get started, go to the link of the description and this will be here. You just press download for Windows and then we can go into Premiere Pro. And what I just told you to download is really, really important because that's how you get all your transition okay so you just click the windows at the top go to extensions and premiere composture so that's the minister horse i just downloaded put it into premiere pro as an extension boom there you go i'm gonna show this frame right here what you're going to do is you're gonna press this arrow on starter path and go to transition i see a lot of transitions here and i'm gonna explain which each one does and where you should put them in different scenes Okay, so let's say this is a scene, and then this is a scene, and you want it to... Now, when I usually put a scene into a scene, the normal transition I use is, is shake, distort, rotate, and digital glitch. That really ends a scene. So let me tell you the difference between a scene and a clip. Basically, this would be like a clip. A scene would be like an intro. The intro would be like a scene. This would be like a clip. Okay, so all you have to do to get your transitions is click on it, drag it over, drop it in between your two cli clips, just like that. There you go, you got your transition. Now, what you have to do is usually the transitions are too loud. So you're going to want to not as loud. Right click on it, audio gain, they do about negative 50. Now let's hear it. Yeah, perfect. See, you have that nice glitch effect. For scenes, what you can do is zoom ins and zoom outs are really good. And usually this will be pretty laggy, so you're, you are going to have to press sequence, render into out to actually be able to preview what transition you just put in. There you go. You got this nice zoom in transition. See this line in the transition? You want to put it between the line and the cut. Just like that. Right click, clean, and boom. There you go. Not too loud. Now for the pants. I'm gonna explain that. The left, the bottom, right. And that's what you saw a lot in the vortex video. What you do is you just drag and drop, but there's a specific four. Go back to that video. Hey, I'm gonna give you an example. This replay shot right here. Team had it all. Good. It went to the left. The transition was to the left. Our team had it all. Good fight. All you do to do that transition, and it's on one of the pans. This says it's left, but it's actually looking like it's going right. So it's the opposite of everything. So if you want something to go left, you pick right. If you want something to go to the bottom, you pick top. If that makes sense. That's just what I've learned. So let's say we want to go to the left. We just drag in right. Go. Now our video looks like it's going left. Boom. And it won't be too laggy if I render it out again. Dude, this is the distort shake and distort i really like that this is one of my favorite ones but you don't want to overuse this so you don't want to use a few of them don't overuse shake to distort digital glitch and rotate also one that i would never use is light leak if it feels like not a transition i'd rather you do cuts than a transition with light leak light leak looks like this yeah, it looks looks really, really bad. Now, another really cool transition is I like to go to the diagonal strip too. I usually like to do one of these. Drag and drop in between your clip. Click, do you gain? And you can actually, you see how it changes? You can adjust the colors too. So let's say I wanted blue and white since those are my theme colors. What you can do is you press edit up here. Select your transition. Boom, you can edit it. Blue and white. Now it looks like this. Perfect, see? And that wraps up this tutorial. Subscribe for you don't miss my video tomorrow about how to choose the perfect music.